hey guys uh, welcome to my channel so i'm making this video to uh, help you guys to install various virtual machines on your virtual box so i was trying to uh, install uh, ubuntu on my virtual box and i was uh, facing an issue when installing that so the issue was that um, the whenever i was trying to install the Ubuntu only a black screen was appearing and uh, it was not showing anything like whether it is installing or or some issue has happened or not so so I will be uh, telling how to resolve that issue and uh, and how you can install Ubuntu or any other OS on the virtual box so so this is going to be a, a, a three video solution so the first video i'll be telling you about the <clears throat> issue the uh, black screen issue where um, you know basically nothing happens it just uh, the black screen keeps keeps blinking and nothing happens and uh, then the second video uh, will be how to uh, uh, do some uh, backend settings to resolve that issue and finally the third video will be about um, to show you guys how the issue has been resolved and how you can install the uh, Ubuntu uh, virtual machine on your virtual box okay so uh, let's get started so first first and foremost please go ahead and uh, install uh, download your virtual box so all you have to do is <clears throat> in go to Google and search for uh, virtual box and go to downloads page and uh, here you have various uh, platform that you can uh, download you have windows platform you have um, uh, mac os platform you have linux platform and then you have solaris platform so depending on the uh, operating system that you have you can go ahead and uh, download the virtual machine package <clears throat> i've already downloaded the uh, virtual machine for myself so i already have the virtual machine and also remember that you would need the uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, versions the various any version that you're looking for that you want to install so i have uh, ubuntu 17.04 uh, 32 bit i have 16.04 32 bit and i also have 16.04 64 bit so what i'll be doing is i'll be installing this uh, i'll be showing you guys uh, uh, of the issue that will be happening when i'm trying to install my 16.04 32 bit version so let's go ahead and uh, all you have to do is go here say uh, click on new <clears throat> so you'll get this uh, box so give the detail like you can give any name so i'll say this is my 32 bit so here you know so as you type the name the the type is automatically selected you don't have to go and choose them explicitly and also the version is uh, um, automatically selected you have the options to go and change it but uh, i know uh, it is uh, the the virtual the virtual box automatically takes care of that so next click on uh, next button here you can uh, uh, give the uh, ram memory that you want to specify for this virtual box i'll go with 1 gb click on next so here is your hard disk so you'll be selecting create a virtual hard disk now click on create and select vdi click on next so basically you don't have to uh, you, you you are going with the default options you're not doing anything so i'll go with dynamically allocated click on next so here you'll be giving the uh, hard disk see virtual hard disk so i'm giving 10 gb and just click on create now so my my uh, machine is ready now you before um, uh, running it you'll have to go to settings and do some changes so go to storage you'll have to basically choose the uh, ioso image that you will be downloading so since i have already down already downloaded the virtual machine so I'll, I'll just go to my ubuntu versions and here i have a version so i'll be choosing 32 bit since i've chosen 32 bit so i'll be going with this and i'll say okay and next you can the the remaining settings you don't really have to worry about um this can be not system this one you can uncheck it we'll go with optical and hard disk display nothing storage nothing so pretty much that's all click on ok and then click on start <clears throat> so we'll wait for the machine to start okay so it is starting so we'll give it some time okay so this page comes 
and then yes so this is where it pretty much stops basically you won't be able to do anything i mean the machine will not do anything after this particular uh, page it, it just sits idly over uh, in this page it won't tell you like what is happening or you know whether the system is doing something or not it doesn't give you any information so you know so what i did was i went ahead and uh, downloaded vmware uh, uh, virtual box and uh, that helped me to identify what the issue was so please go ahead you can go ahead and download the uh, so please go ahead and uh, download the uh, vmware workstation to uh, to 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 find out what the issue is happening when we are trying to install the ubuntu in the virtual machine so go to google and uh, you can simply uh, search for vmware workstation you will find uh, uh, you can go ahead and uh, download a, a free version that is available you don't have to go for the pro version you can uh, simply go ahead and download the uh, free version you should be able to download it based on the operating system that you are using i already i already have a, a vmware workstation for my system which i have downloaded so here what i'll be doing is let me go ahead and clear this so you can it's it's pretty much the same way you just uh, click on the create a new virtual machine and uh, you'll select install uh, using the ioc image that you've downloaded and click on next uh, give a name to this next and next next and finish so go with whatever the settings that are there and here you know your vmware work session tells you what the problem is with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, when installing the ubuntu uh, os for you so it tells the os supports host supports intel vt hyphen x but intel vt hyphen x is disabled so might be disabled if it has been disabled in bios or firmware settings or the host has not been power cycled since changing the settings so basically what you have to do is you have to go into your bios setting or menu of your laptop or the system and you will need to go to a configuration page where you'll have this uh, intel vtx option and you will need to enable that to resolve this issue so in the next video that is what i'm going to show you how you can go to your uh, uh, bios um, menu i have a, a lenovo laptop that i use so uh, most of the lenovo laptops have a, a, a button or an option known as novo which is basically a small button which can be used to uh, go to my bio setting uh, but most of the system or laptop supports f1 or f2 or f12 to go to your bios uh, settings so in the next video i'll be showing you how to do that so uh, so so I'm, i will will wrap up here please uh, like share and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you